as you will browse interface like this will open now click on e governance and fill your user id and password and click on login now go under see error section and click on dc endorsement no interface like this will open and you can see the option of advanced level dc level to click there now you have to fill your personal details most of which will be already filled from your windows profile after then you have to fill application details then click on continue now fill your postal address and click on continue now you have to fill the modular course detail if you are applying for advanced dc oil then you will have to fill about task go Now you have to fill the service details like name of the vessel, port of registry, and the rank you have sailed. As you will click continue, your application number will be generated. Now you will have to pay your application fee. Now go on right side corner and click on home. As you will click there, initial interface will open again. So again click on DC endorsement and radio GMSS operator. Now you can see in the bottom left with a red color. Pay C U C and C U P and check the status. Click there. Now you can see the status of your application. If your fee is already paid, then now you have to upload the documents. The so click on upload do upload now. It's very important to upload documents properly. Otherwise, they will put in your remarks and your DC will not be generated. So the first document is scan copy of signed application. So what will you do? You will take print out of the application form and uh, sign there and. Uh, take a scan copy and upload it uh, the fourth is the scan modular course in one pdf so listen carefully you have to upload three pdfs you have to merge three pdfs like first one modular course like if you have done camco or gasco or tasco that one second is aff and third is sid so you have to combine all three in one pdf and upload it otherwise they will put under remarks and they will not generate dc at all The next is certificate from the company should mention the name of the oil, chemical, whatever cargo it is. If you don't have the letter, ask the company; they will provide you for sure. The sixth document is the scanned copy of basic DC endorsement that you have already done. And the last one is self-attested copy of CDC booked pages showing the relevant sea service. So you will have to take the print off of that and sign it there, and again scan it and upload. Once you have uploaded all the files successfully now scroll down and click on upload files After that interface like this will open where you have option to click the documents you have uploaded or you can re-upload the documents When you will check the status after one or two days you will see under remarks whether it is approved or not If it is not approved they will write the reason for that and you will have to rectify it and again they will approve it if once it is approved they will dispatch it and the speed post consignment number will be found in the remarks and you can track it and always remember you will not be able to download this document through online mode and you will get the physical copy within a week once it get dispatched through speed post only so wait for that and that's how i got my certificate thank you very much for watching this video